We do expect to have real good results in the coming weeks. So just, you know, it's, it's a good time for people to check back in, um, follow the gold stocks and, um, and hold on for the ride. Joining us for a conversation is Judson Coulter, the CEO of Rover Metals. Mr. Coulter, welcome to the show, sir. Hey, thanks, Maurice. Uh, pleasure to be here. <laughs> Glad to have you back on the program as Rover Metals has some important updates for shareholders regarding two active exploration programs in the Northwest Territories. Before we begin, Mr. Coulter, please introduce us to Rover Metals and the opportunity the company presents to the market. Yeah, we are a publicly traded gold company. We trade uh, in the U.S. Uh, on the OTCQB under uh, ROVMF, and we trade on the Toronto Exchange, the Venture Exchange, under ROVR, and uh, we are focused on Northern Canada and making uh, large-scale discovery, um, high-grade. Um, so we operate at the uh, 60th para parallel in Northern Canada. Mr. Coulter, take us to the Northwest Territories where Rover Metals has just completed the drilling component of Phase 2 on the flagship Cabin Gold Project along the Bugau Iron Formation. Sir, please remind us of the value proposition before us on the Cabin Gold Project. Yeah, I mean, the value proposition real-time at the time of this interview is uh, an opportunity to buy in the open market. I mean, we are weeks away from... Uh, bringing the drilling results we, uh, from this summer, we spent $1.5 million Canadian for uh, over 30 drill holes across the bug out wire information. Um, we believe, based on what we've seen in the field and in the core, what our geologists logged in the field from the drill core, that we're likely to have another discovery zone um, in addition to the what we all know from last year, the discovery we made. So, I mean, that's, uh, we're weeks away from bringing results. And I think, um, you know, compared to a lot of other junior miners out there, uh, they're going to be waiting months. I think the latest is 10 weeks to get results uh, for any new drilling that's going on right now in the fall. Well, that's exciting. Another discovery zone. You're sitting there all composed. I, uh, I'd hate to play poker against you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> all right. I referenced that the drilling component is completed, but there's more work still being done there on phase two. What else do you have going on there? Yeah. So we, you know, obviously we've got an experienced team of field geologists. And so we're already working on what we've eyeballed as a new, well, actually two new discovery zones. Um, in addition to, you know, what we already know in the aero zone, which was our discovery last year. So planning for drilling at depth, which is what we've always said we were going to do in Q1 of next year, um, drilling all our known surface zones uh, at depth. We're setting the stage for delineating deep drilling in January with a ground IP study. And I think the good news here is the end of August, we the ground IP work, the bang for the buck on exploration is incredible. Um, so we did a test run of a known mineralized zone uh, with the IP work the end of August, and it came back and it not only told us areas along the bug out formation, which are sulfide versus non-sulfide. Sulfide, of course, is what's directly associated with high-grade gold at our project. But the, the IP work has also told us uh, if it's low versus high sulfide. So that's really valuable. It gives us a true depth reading below surface of 75 meters. So with all the other uh, information that we've got coming out of this program, uh, we just to remind the audience, phase two included drilling. It included airborne LIDAR imagery to really counsel out the trees, the water, the mud, allow us to see structurally uh, the rocks. So combining the LiDAR data with the drill data, understanding things like faulting, which you know will happen close to surface, and then you've got to be able to follow the fault down depth to, to chase the high-grade gold as it pinches and swells. Um, and then also being able to have um, you know, this IP, which is showing us below surface to 75 meters true depth, you know, where the high sulfide is the confidence going into our phase three drill program in January is going to be extremely high. And 
and we're already seeing like you know we again we think we've got two additional new zones in addition to the aero zone um we're following these things at depth is you know where these these types of our informations are underground mines so this really is setting the stage um you know for for the next program Leaving the Cabin Lake Gold Project, let's visit the Uptown Gold Project, where Rover Metals retains a 25% ownership interest. Today, Rover Metals announced that it has commenced on phase two of exploration. Mr. Coulter, briefly acquaint us with the Uptown Gold Project. Yeah, the Uptown Gold Project is just on the outer city limits of Yellowknife, which is, you know, if you're familiar with Nevada, Arizona, there's a lot of uh, towns and cities that are ne located next to mines. And, you know, that is the case with Uptown Gold. It's, it's right next door to the historical giant mine. You could literally throw a rock from the giant mine head frame and hit the property. And so that, that mine produced multi millions of ounces of high grade gold. And so, we're excited because the Uptown Gold Project is going to see drilling starting uh, in two weeks. And uh, it's going to a target that's been overlooked since the 60s, really. Um, it's got a lot of potential, the northeast uh, quadrant of the property. And that borders right up against Gold Terra's claims. And Gold Terra, of course, now has a 1.3 million uh, ounce resource, gold resource. Um, and so we're in a very sweet spot. One of their best drill targets is just north um, of, of where we're going to be drilling. So, you know, that whole area, that, that Yellowknife uh, gold belt, or, you know, you call it the Greenstone belt that runs through the, the city of Yellowknife. Um, Newmont on the southern side of the city has optioned off some claims to Gold Terra as well. And so there's just, it's, it's exciting because there's a lot of renewed interest and um, multiple companies active in this area. So for, for our partners that are, you know, that are moving forward the drill program for them to have success, um, you know, is, uh, you know, I mean, benefits Rover as well. We, you know, we retain 25%. But we also have a framework for a merger with this other other gold junior should they be successful too. Switching gears, let's look at some numbers. Mr. Coulter, please provide us with the capital structure for Rover Metals. Yeah, we have uh, just over 100 million shares outstanding. And, um, you know, there's a million plus dollars in the bank right now reflective of that cap structure plus you know, 100% ownership of uh, of three projects plus the 25% ownership in Uptown. So, you know, those gold acquiring precious metals projects are not cheap, but that's reflected, uh, you know, in our in our ownership structure, the fact that we do own 100% uh, of three projects, as as I just mentioned. In closing, sir, what would you like to say to shareholders? I think now is a, a really good time, you know, back from the summer holidays, kids back in school, uh, people back to work, you know, doubling down on some investments that are, you know, near term uh, going to have real results. And, you know, building a mining company takes three to four years. I mean, it's not just a six months, but um, we do expect to have real good results in the coming weeks. So just, you know, it's, it's a good time for people to check back in. Um, follow the gold stocks and, um, and hold on for the ride. Mr. Culture, for someone that wants to learn more about Rover Metals, please share the contact details. Yeah, or just visit our website. Uh, by the way, we've just rebranded brand new website. Uh, check out rovermetals.com for the new website. Look and feel. Also, yes, right behind your uh, left shoulder there, we see the new logo. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> All right, Mr. Coulter, always a pleasure to speak with you. Wishing you and Rover Metals the absolute best, sir. Hey, thank you, Maurice. The information presented on Proven and Probable is provided for educational and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information is not intended to be and does not constitute financial, investment, or trading advice, or any other advice. You should not make any financial, investment, or trading decision based on any of the information presented without first undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or competent financial advisor.